Good evening. A former Park County teacher appeared in court this morning. She's accused of taking tens of thousands of dollars from fellow teachers and school fundraisers. It's a story you heard first here on News 10, and we're following it through as the court process begins. In tonight's top story, News 10's Jacqueline Beavis was in court this morning. She has the very latest. Mike Patrice, we actually talked with the suspect's attorney today. I'll get to his comments in just a second. First, let's get through what happened today in the courtroom. It was the first hearing for the case against Melissa McMullen. She faces four counts of theft and one count of forgery. The Indiana State Police say she took nearly $75,000 from teachers that was supposed to be for their Indiana State Teachers Association dues. The probable cause says that money has been paid back. She's also accused of taking almost $5,000 from school and classroom fundraisers. Now here's a look at McMullen this morning. She appeared with her attorney, Mike Ellis, and pleaded not guilty to all charges. After court, Ellis talked with us on behalf of his client. Yeah, Ms. McMullen believes that uh, mistakes were made, but she regrets and we're going to get that rectified. If there's any additional monies that need to be paid back, that'll happen. We're not certain of that yet. Now, the theft charges are based on accusations that McMullen took the money. That single forgery charge is connected to bank statements that police believe the suspect altered. This is a story we'll follow closely as it moves through the court system. Back to you. Thank you, Jacqueline. We also talked with the Indiana State Teachers Association today. They say they fully cooperated with the investigation. We learned that the association offers electronic payment from teachers as well. Another way to avoid future problems with something like this.